Hello friends, here again talking to you about solar prices or solar and prices like I like to call it um, and it's October 2024 um, today the dollar is at um, 1680 there so um, that's one dollar so the naira is 1680 there and so much imbalance when it comes to the you know the dollar right now and when it comes to the naira there's inflation things are actually like really really going up and i think what i really want to ask is i i hope you're actually okay <laughs> because and one thing that you must know about nigerians is that we are survivors we we know how to thrive even in the um, seemingly worst kind of situations so you put a nigerian somewhere and he can try so today i'll be talking to you about you know solar prices and this is the reason why we do what we do um so here's a brief summary so it's a weekly overview of solar equipment um from solar panels to batteries and inverters basically everything you need to know um today is one of those days where it's basically just you know everything you need to know and just you know conversations and stuff um, um solar price hikes and fluctuations this is due to inflation and rise in the dollar top tier and local equipment prices for the most surprising for the most reliable and local brands that you can actually you know, find uh, most, uh, most approximate price from distributors. So prices were compiled from multiple distributors to give you an awesome overview of what the solar prices are. All right. Um, yeah. So that's 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 what we do. What we do, and just to give you that knowledge of what you can actually get in the market. Okay. So here are some of the products that I have today. I have Air Solar. I have J Solar. I have Canadian Solar. I have Jinko Solar. I have Solis Inverter. I have Expert Inverter, I have EP Ever, I have Alp Solar, and I have SRNE Lithium. So, um, you know, I, I keep calling it SRNE, but you know, if there's a better way to call it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I've actually heard someone like it's SRNE, right? Like uh, CERN, or CERN, or <laughs> SRNE Lithium, or I'm sure that's the pronunciation. All right, so um, let's get into some of the, um, the prices that we have today. So for Era Solar, Era Solar is a solar panel. Um, Era Solar, we have the 400 watt mono at 120,000 naira. That's 300 naira per watt. Um, for J Solar, um, we have the J Solar 365. What 365 watt at 110,000 naira that's 301 naira per watt, and we have Jinko Solar the 480 watt goes for 138,000 naira that's 287 naira per watt. Um, we have the Canadian Solar and the Canadian Solar 550 watts goes for 160,000 naira that's 290 naira per watt. Um, um, for the, the solar panels, actually, one of the one of the things that I uh, you know I've figured out and I've noticed recently is that you know they are pretty efficient, and um, you you can't you can't miss it when you actually go for you know the solar panels. You can't you can't miss it. You know they are they are very very efficient. I think there was a test that I did. And I was mentioning this last week that there was a test that, that we did conducted and we realized that those guys were actually producing you know up to 90 percent so around 90 98 percent of what the actual um, um, wattage is and that's that's pretty amazing to see all right so we have the expert inverter um the aspect inverter the mks 25 kilowatts and the pv is 4500 PV is the photovoltaic, um, that's the um, solar. So the, the idea is that it's hybrid and you can put in up to 4,500 watts of solar into this guy and it will be like, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's 900,000 there. And also we have the Solis, the Solis inverter. Solis is um, um, PV, it has a PV of 5,500 watts. 
and it goes for 950,000 naira. So I'm still a big fan of Jinko, right? I'm still a very, very big fan of Jinko um, inverted, but I've, I've actually not seen the right, um, um, I've not gotten the right prices yet. And I think, you know, from next week, I should get some of my distributors to actually review some of those prices. And um, yeah. Jinko is pretty solid. I have not left Jinko yet. <laughs> All right, but so, but this is the Solace, and Solace is nine hundred and fifty thousand naira. I love the Solace. It's it's a pretty good brand, and you can parallel it up to you know ten units. You can parallel up to ten units for this brand. Um, it's a forty-eight volt, so it's low voltage. Um, you can use a lithium-ion battery. You can use lead-acid. The fact that it's also hybrid, that means you can put your solar into it and basically works, you know, well. It uses MPPT, uh, so you can you can be rest assured that it's pretty good. So max impute voltage even for solar is around 500 volts, which is you know actually something something cool. Yeah, it's something that you can actually go actually check out. I, I prefer high voltage, you know, for solar because. You, know, you can just I, I mean I, I I do I love a lot of engineering so most of the time it's easier that way where you don't have to like parallel the the um, solar panels when you just have to like series them that's a good advantage and the fact that you can also use you know them thinner cables um, that's so it saves you money on the cable side and yeah especially a whole lot of cable and stuff and somehow you know I ask a lot of questions and you know I talk to folks and. I've, I've actually had that it makes it actually is more efficient when you are actually um, increasing the voltage when it's around five on when you actually increase the voltage and when you you know you parallel them to get so correct me if I'm wrong though right? but that's what I heard all right so so the the MPPT voltage range really what they want you to do is you know to, to increase it from maybe get it up to like at least 90 for it to work 90 to 400 volts all right yeah all right so we have the srme the srme goes for 1 million eight hundred and fifty thousand naira. you can actually go check that out um so the srme is rated you know 51.2 volts um Rated capacity is um, 100 amps. Um, rated energy that's 5.12 kilowatts. Um, it's 52 kg, and um, yeah, it's 6,000 circles. That's pretty amazing. And for the SRME, you know, um, they are saying that the lifetime is around 20 years. 20 years if you use it at 25, 25 degrees Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> so they're always very very smart with you know their calculations when you use it at a particular when the battery is at a particular temperature it can last for that long so i don't think it's it's a problem of charge and discharge it's it's the problem of um, um temperature and how you how, how it's actually kept i think for nigeria we can actually do those numbers actually um yeah and so i have ep ever you know, I was talking about this last week that you know EP Eva is one of those um, companies that you know do something else, but you know they've made a name in it and now they're actually you know doing um, something else. Okay, so EP Eva makes um, charge controllers and they are very very good, very good charge MPPT charge controllers. They are not all over the world and every. Basically, almost everybody in the renewable energy space knows them. If you are not like the extreme Victron people, there are some extreme, extreme Victron people that they don't use anything else. And I know it's Victron guys that actually don't use anything else. <laughs> All right. So um, for for EP Eva, actually, the EP Eva goes for one one million five hundred and fifty thousand naira, and it's it's life for it's fifty one point two volts. Um, <clears throat> Um, it's um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Nominal capacity is 100 amps. Um, yeah, so many good things about this, and yeah, 6,000 circles also. So you can actually, you know, go check out the EPF battery. And also we have the Alp Solar. It's 5.12 like the rest kilowatt like the rest. Um, it's also lithium and the cell type is LFP um, 
self specification 3.1, all those ones are not things that are very necessary. But it's also 6,000 circles. You can actually get this battery for 1,580,000 naira, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, um, I, I think I like the Alp Solar because yes, it's 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 more flexible. So you can you can install it indoor. You can install it outdoor. For those that want to, you know, keep the stuff the stuff outside, so it's IP, IP65. You can <clears throat> keep it on the floor, and you can also mount it on the wall. So that's that's anything that you actually really 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 want. So for those that when you are thinking about aesthetics and how something looks, yeah, the App Solar kind of looks like a pretty good brand that can you know fit your um, specifications and stuff like that. So if you want to mount on the floor, do do it anyhow. You know that you are good basically. So um, the, it's it's quite different for um, the EP ever. For the EP ever, you can't mount on the wall. It does not have those you know those um, kind of stuff. Um, but for this, yes, you can do that. All right. So um, we've come to the end of this, and um, till next week. Cheers.